Greg Martin with the Kentucky Headhunters, and Rufus Huff, Mighty Jeremiah's, and uh, at one time I played with Ronnie McDowell, and we'll get into that some other day when we have more time, but I'm back from the dentist again. I got my teeth fixed. I've been shot up with Novocaine, so I've kind of got that Dwayne Allman thing going today. I'm feeling really good, and I think I can almost hit the note, but you know what's really special today? The last time I was here, we had brought this guitar in. This is my Headhunter album, and plus I played it all through the 80s. Um, we've got a, a brand new, cool finish, a nice T um, aged finish, which is really good because I'm aged and the finish is aged now. So, what's going to happen, the groovy thing that's going to happen here, as this guitar gets older, man, well, wait a minute, it's already old. So, as, as I take it out on the road this summer, it's going to fade just like I am. When the snow became starts, you know, fading, I'm going to fade too. And, and the, and all that good stuff. But anyway, it's a groovy new finish. I like it. The guys did really good. So if you want a finish like this, you need to come to RS and uh, talk to them. Man, you can, man, you're right, you're on the right side of the tracks here, right? That's it, That's it man. It's cool. Is there any questions uh, come in from the, the, the people out there that need to know specific things about. Uh, one thing we are working on is, uh, and you, you guys out there, you tone connoisseurs out there, we're working on a box, an amp isolator, like an outhouse, a two-seater. That Now, the, you can get your ambient sound, and we're going to try to put, we're going to have an SM58 and some Neumann's in it, you know. Now, for you 80s fans out there, we got some of the white PV microphones, you remember those? But uh, we should have those available in about a year or two. Uh, the two-seater is going to be the one. Now, if you really want that big room, Jimmy Page, distance makes depth sound, we're going to try to get the four-seater as well. Can you imagine that? That's the bomb. We can actually set the amp down in the, in the <laughs> bottom. We're working on that. Actually, the two-mooner is going to be really good, man. <laughs> Another thing too about these pickups, these are groovy pickups, these are the psychobilly pickups which are 7.8, 7.8, yeah. 7.9, 7.7 here, unpotted, you know, an unpotted hippie is not good but pickups are good, <laughs> right, <laughs> hippies have got to have pot out there, I know you guys do but the pickups don't need pot, <laughs> let me tell you right now. So we. Can I tell them what happened last time I was here? Well, last time this guitar <laughs> uh, actually is here is. You want to show that, Roy? Matter of fact, hey, this is Roy. This is my '58 Les Paul, and uh, so one day we'll actually bring that up here and we'll do something with that. But uh, we've actually copied these pickups, so and you can actually talk into these and get that CB radio sound, you know. So '58. The guitar. Right, that's that's <laughs> the one. You know. So anyway, it's all good, man. I love the finish on this, and it's good being back in Winchester. You know, uh, life is good. I feel better than I did last time. I think they had me good shot up last time. I hear a vibrato. Is it? Not this time. I can turn the ceiling fan on if you want. Would it work? <laughs> We're going to go for the Leslie sound here now. This is cool. They actually finished the, uh, I actually fixed the, uh, uh, 
Yeah, I'll fix the, the action on this too. It, it was terrible. Hey, I see a, a box that says Joe Perry up there. Is that the Joe Perry? That would be the Joe Perry. Hey, Joe Perry, I want to meet you again. I, uh, years ago we met him at the Grammys and he was a nice guy. So I think he should come jam with the headhunters sometimes. Don't you Definitely. Know? I mean, we, we could be called arrowheads. <laughs> anyway, guys, this is good, man. I love this guitar. Uh, this is a good day, man. Good day. Anybody got any questions out there about their future in the music business? Any, any, is there anything? You know, if you ever have any questions, we can get together once a year. What you can do is email Roy and Billy, <laughs> like advice about these new 360 deals in the music business for record companies. Uh, we can talk about that next time. And we can also, the only 360 I ever knew that ever worked was the 360 on Columbia Records. You remember on the back, 360 sound? So just get you a good lawyer, kids, and go at it with the record companies. God <laughs> bless you because you're going to need it. And remember, it, it, remember, Jesus does love you. The record labels I'm not sure about. God bless you.